Hello, we are Scott, IoT Development Kit. I'm Chang Yan. I'm doing software. He's Caleb, he's doing software. He's Jacob, he's doing hardware. And uh, she's Emily, she's doing software. Our project is for Texas Instruments. So they use like a rocket name for everything. So we use a Scott, which is also a rocket name. So here are some product requirements. First, it needs to be less than uh, $50 to produce. For us, it took us about uh, $40 to manufacture those. Also, it needs to transmit the data over Wi-Fi and the Bluetooth to a cloud service. It also needs to accept both safe growth sensors and the uh, TI booster packs. So why don't we talk about the uh, hardware a little bit here. As you can see, this is the hardware architecture. This is going to start with a power supply, which is just a micro USB. That's going to be providing 5 volts to the system. The system requires 3.3, so we do have a power supply circuit that's stepping that down to 3.3. Down here you can see our three uh, Grove sensor ports. One is I2C, which is digital, and these two are analog. The two analog uh, sensors are going to be sending uh, analog signals to the ADC of the microprocessor, which we'll get back to. And the I2C port, that's sending the digital data, so it doesn't need to be converted to digital. It just goes straight to be processed. Above these, you can see our two user programmable uh, buttons, as well as a reset button, and two user programmable LEDs. Now, back to the MSP430, that's the microcontroller. It's kind of the brains of the operation. It's receiving the data, and it's sending it to the ESP32. Now, that's our Wi-Fi and Bluetooth chip. And it's going to do one of two things once it receives that data. It's, and this would depend on the user, it would either uh, send it via Bluetooth to a, an app we have developed, or it would send it via Wi-Fi to the cloud, where it can then be viewed uh, on a website such as the one we're using here. So for the demo, we actually have the Scout hooked up right here. It is getting power from my laptop, and it is currently connected through uh, Wi-Fi, connected to my phone, which is acting as a mobile hotspot, and it's connected through Wi-Fi to Microsoft Azure. So we have two sensors hooked up here, a moisture sensor and a light sensor. And if you can uh, actually touch the moisture sensor and you'll get a reading based off the moisture on your skin. And it will update, the website will update about every 10 to 15 seconds or so. But it is actually saving every single sample that you give it and it's sampling at about uh, one sample a second. So with a push of a button actually we can switch from Wi-Fi to Bluetooth. Uh, once that LED comes on that lets me know that it is uh, in Bluetooth mode and we can go into the app and select our device which is labeled as ESP32 BLE for Bluetooth Low Energy. And on the app we can type in uh, what sensors we're using. So we're using a moisture sensor and a light sensor, and that's what the uh, Scout is uh, sending it as. So we can type that in, and then we can get our readings in real time uh, on the app, and it's just given as a reading. So if I cover up this sensor, it'll give a much lower reading, and if I touch the moisture sensor, I will get a reading in real time. So for our software challenges, we had some issues with um, when we originally built our mobile app. So we built a mobile app that would be easy for a new user that has not programmed an app before to make adjustments to so that they can read their data over Bluetooth and anything else they want to do. Our original challenge with that was we chose a um, application builder software that did not have proper Bluetooth uh, commands for it, which was a little frustrating when we had already built our entire app, but we rebuilt it in a new software that could um, offer the capabilities that someone would need. A big challenge was learning documentation. So we had to do a lot of documentation for a new user of the project to be able to go through all of our code, send AT commands and things like that, just to be able to use it properly.